here and welcome back to the channel so our last video I took the vet for a test drive after we uh, aligned the pulleys properly uh, did some high-speed runs everything checked out uh, we did leave the house with the carbon fiber lip in one piece uh, came back with the lip in six different pieces uh, the lip has been ordered and it should be here tomorrow this time I'm gonna be uh, bolting it on and retaining it with a nut as well hopefully that uh, keeps it on uh, during our next uh, high-speed uh, high-speed runs for the ones who've been following the build uh, I uh, took the car down back in May uh, I bought the car with a factory bottom an LS7. Uh, I decided to go with an LSX. Uh, I installed that I think mid-June and uh, ever since then it's been just trying to get the car back up to racing standards where you know uh, there are no kinks to work out and uh, everything is working perfectly fine. That is for the most part. Our current setup right now is a 441 LSX iron block paired with a uh, aluminum LS7 factory heads with a Holly High Ram and a Pro Charger. So got a chance to get our first race in against a twin turbo uh, Helium kit uh, Mustang 5.0. And this first run really gave us the opportunity to see where the vet falls in amongst uh, other cars out on the streets. Unfortunately, the Mustang had major issues uh, shortly after the run. And you see that the clip starts start smoking real bad. And that really leaves into speculation uh, if uh, his car was truly at 100% uh, during the race or not. Initially thought maybe the turbine hot side might have been flooded with oil, but it's looking like it might be something else. Originally, I wasn't going to post a run uh, if his car was not at 100%, um, but I figured uh, because this is, our first, this is our first race on a new setup, uh, it'd be worth sharing with, uh, with the viewers who've been eager uh, to see how the car um, performs out on the streets. Back then we had unresolved traction issues and I didn't want to risk spinning out, so I ended up doing the uh, 60 roll from uh, third gear. We were a little bit out of our power band, just waiting for the RPMs to climb up. Once we got into the power band, uh, the car definitely uh, definitely moved. Since then, I've uh, made some adjustments to the suspension. Ended up having to set both the front and the rear dampening to the softest setting. And what that leaves me is uh, with a 60 roll, uh, the car does spin uh, a bit, but not enough where it's fish chilling or I feel the need to let off. So I'm, I'm comfortable enough to stay in it and then throw it into third gear and uh, she does her thing. So now the plan is to start dialing the uh, dampening uh, towards the uh, stiffer side. Uh, because uh, right now, uh, at the uh, softest setting, um, water per throttle, uh, it feels good, but it doesn't feel as planted. It almost feels like the car is on clouds, and I don't like that. So I'm going to try to find that sweet spot between hooking, spinning, and you know, the car feeling uh, somewhat planted. We'll keep experimenting until uh, we're finding that sweet spot. And for my new viewers, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to be rolling in the footage of the runs. These are all the same runs, just from different perspective. And uh, enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 